So we have parked at Point Car Park in Tynmouth and we are going to walk along the southwest coast path towards Dawlish. It's still a murky rainy day today so we thought we wouldn't do the more strenuous walk from Maidencombe to Chaldon so we're going to do this less strenuous walk from Timmouth towards Dawlish Warren and we're going to walk for two, months, two hours and then we're going to walk back to make sure we get back in time before it gets dark and it was five pound in the car park for four hours people on the beach surprisingly it's February a very drizzly dirty day and people are on the beach amazing This is the sort of path you need on walks like this in this sort of weather. Not narrow, slippy, muddy paths. busy this end of the beach but what a lovely beach in the summer to bring your family and you're allowed dogs all year round at Tinmer which is really really nice so the whole family can come with their dog and enjoy and there's a really long beach there's the breakwater 
sticky now, but there's more beach the other side. And this is the far end away from the town. But it looks really lovely. Paul's just come back to tell me that it looks a bit strange as to where we go from here because there's a sheer cliff, a pile of rocks and then there are some steps going down. Some steps going down, 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 down. This is really nice, a really nice walk. One last little look at the sea. Carry on down these steps. The steps here. And then under this tunnel. I mean, we'll see the sea in a minute because we'll be coming back. And then we're going along this path. And then we're going up Windward Lane. And there's a sign on the lamp post saying post path. This path is a little bit narrow and a little bit muddy, but not too bad. It's still possible to walk on it. Without slipping everywhere. So this is a good walk from Tynmouth towards Dawlish on a rainy, windy day. Maybe I spoke too soon. This path does have the potential to become impassable but it's okay with good boots and then around the corner carrying on the path There seems to be a lot of building stuff going on here. I have no idea why. Oh, what was that? I think it seems to be work to do with coastal defences to make it stronger so the cliffs don't fall down onto the railway. That's what it looks like, but I could be completely wrong. Oof. I think what they're actually making here, it looks like Parsons Tunnel North Portal Project, looks like they're making a tunnel for the train to go through to protect it from any cliff falls. So today we have walked as far as 
south down road, south down road. We've come up these little uh, wooden stairs here. Coast path, coast path. Um, yeah, there's coast path. There, there's the coast path that we've just come up. There's the coast path that we are going to do next time we are in the area and we might park in one of these little roads here to do the next stage of this part of the southwest coast path but for now we're going to walk back along the road and then are we going to go under the bridge and by yeah, the sea we'll again, lane again. <clears throat> yeah we're going to go along the road down smugglers lane and back to the car so that's a nice little range trip on a wet and drizzly day Coming down Smugglers Lane, down to the archways, and to walk back along the beach. I love this view of seeing the sea under the archways like that. Really nice. Tinmouth Beach as well. There's free toilets. In the Tainbridge Canoe Tinbridge Canoe Club. There's ladies and gent toilets, which are free. <laughs> <laughs> 